Hi there everybody, it's Kendra here. Welcome back to this DIY mom life. It has been a minute since I have been able to film and put up a video for you guys. Um, and there's really lots of reasons to that. But I am working on a few things and I thought I would take you along with me. Now, before I get into it, I wanted to let you guys know I am expecting baby number three in the spring. And that's kind of fueled this new um, resurgence for wanting to make some special things for the baby. Um, there's something just really exciting about making baby items um, and so I'm going to kick it off by talking about swaddle blankets. So for me I really like having the really large style swaddler receiving blankets and for me they're really multi-purpose. So they're great for swaddling, um, actually wrapping up the baby in the early days. I like to use them like as a burp cloth to wipe up any sort of like spit up or whatever that comes up. I like to have them when we go out as it can be just a um, temporary sort of like change place. You can use it as a nursing cover. Really there are so many options and having just a, that large square of fabric is surprisingly multi-purpose and useful. So I've made a lot of these flannelette um, swaddle blankets. Very simple, just the printed flannel here. And I just, this one I surged and folded over the edges. You can do like a double edge turn, although it makes the edges a little bit bulkier. This one is just, um, it's only printed on the one side, but you can also do solid colors and um, make them as large as you want. Now in the last couple of years, muslins with swaddle blankets have become really popular and they really range from, you can get really inexpensive to really expensive, really soft, different qualities, I guess. Um, and I ended up just going to the fabric store and picked up some gauze material, it's called. Um, if you go to the fabric store looking for muslin, you're gonna get a very different kind of fabric. But this is gauze. You can see it's kind of see-through, it's lightweight. I mean, it's gonna be hard to see, but you can kind of see my window there in the background. It is quite thin. Um, it's also very soft. Now, I made these muslin blankets very large as well, and I think that's kind of a common trend with the muslin ones that you purchase for the baby as well. I know sometimes the flannelette ones that you can buy rather than make yourself veer on the smaller side, like if they're labeled receiving blankets rather than swaddle blankets. Anyways, this is large and thin. Probably the best feature about this, aside from being really lightweight if you live in a hot climate or you're using it as a nursing cover in the summertime, is that it does squish up super small. So I really like having these muslin ones, one or two shoved in the bottom of my bag because they take up no room at all. Um, and if you're using it and you need it as a like emergency spot to change a diaper, you don't really wanna use it to wipe the baby's face after or whatever, then you can have it with you. Um, without it taking up or having to haul around really bulky things. So here on YouTube, I have seen a lot of people really enjoying the brand of swaddle blankets that is Copper Pearl. Now those are the stretchy knit blankets. They're very large um, and everyone talks about how soft they are and they come in a lot of cute prints. I haven't used one of these myself, but I have received for my last baby a few um, blankets made out of this cotton jersey fabric, which is stretchy. This one does have a thicker binding on the edge, whereas those ones are more thin. I also think it's not quite as stretchy. The ones on there look a lot more like spandexy, and they're actually a poly rayon blend. So keeping in mind I wanted to make some blankets more similar to the Copper Pearl style, I went to the fabric store and took a look through all of their knit fabric selection. Now where I live, that's not great, but the benefit of going in store rather than ordering online is you get to feel them, you get to stretch them, you can see the prints, you can see everything, and it's just easier to compare, especially when you're going for something soft and stretchy and those are your descriptions rather than looking up something that's really quantifiable on the internet. I looked at all my options and I decided to go with a 95% cotton 5% spandex blend. I picked it up in this periwinkle color. It is so soft, um, way more so than you might expect. Like I've sewn with a lot of cotton, um, I was gonna say nylon, but this isn't yarn, cotton spandex blends. And um, this one is just feels a little extra stretchy. Can see they didn't cut it all that well at the fabric store. When I pull it to single layer, it's thin. You can kind of see that window behind. It has the softness, it has the stretch, and uh, yeah, I just, it feels like the kind of thing I wanna wrap myself in, so exactly what I was looking for um, in the fabric store. So they had some really cute prints that I liked. However, a lot of them were really on the graphic side, and I mean that meaning really high contrast, more of that modern style 
which I know is really popular but I find just a little bit like jarring on really pale babies like I have. Um, now they're really cute and kind of trendy and that might be what you're looking for. Um, but I wanted something just a little bit softer like in visually softer. I know if we're comparing to Copper Pearl they have a lot of like florals things like that um, but even those that were larger scale it just wasn't quite what I was looking for. However there are lots of options out there. Anyone who's done a lot of sewing knows there are whole like fabric groups devoted to people looking for or special prints you can have something that like relates to your interests whatever I just went simple but it's gonna work just fine I am sure I also want to mention I did find some um, polyester rayon blends and even some polyester cotton blends different things like that kind of felt them all weighed out the pros and cons and in the end I decided I wanted a cotton and that was just because I want something that um, can absorb and because I use them as like um, wiping up spills or whatever when we're out that all-purpose category I really don't want polyester which doesn't absorb um, as my main fabric so even though it might maybe would be cooler if that's like the quality that you're looking for um, it wasn't what I wanted so I wanted to stay away from polyester and go more towards natural fibers even though it does have that 5% spandex in it. So the Cotton Pro blankets are 46 inches by 46 inches. Um, this fabric I believe is 60 inches wide and then I bought a meter and a half. So I've got more than enough and I'm going to use the scraps in the end to make one of those top knot hats. Now if you're interested in making those I'll put some links to some tutorials online. There are so many options and they're very simple. I printed off just a pattern. It's a one page sheet. <laughs> it looks a little ridiculous but this part here is the part that you would tie and you can tie it like closer down to the baby's head or higher up and it kind of grows with you it lasts for longer so really this can be as simple as cutting a square and that can be the end of your project you have a really nice blanket that will work just as well as those ones that are like $36 online I'm just gonna do a really narrow stitch on my sewing machine to kind of cover the edges so that there won't be rolling but at the same time it's not gonna be big or bulky so I'm gonna cut my square a little bit smaller you can do whatever size you want like I said I'm gonna try to do the 46 by 46 and then just put the whole square through my sewing machine and do those edges. All right, everybody, that's really all there is to it. I'm really excited about some of these projects coming up, but I want to hear from you. What are some things that you like to make for babies in your life? And whether that's things you just can't live without or things that just make life a little bit easier that are super cute and fun to make for your make yourself for your child, your grandchild, whoever it is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the